Hello, 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 hello. Ciao. I don't. Hi, Rihanna. Hi, babe. I heard. This is a mess. This is a mess. Child, I don't even. I don't even. I don't even know where to begin. It's so messy. I don't even know where to begin. Hi, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Hi, Allison. How y'all doing? Um, I'm gonna just say this. Yeah, he, he blocked me. He blocked me. Um, if, if that individual mouth is moving, he's lying. And I didn't even know that... <laughs> it's hard to wrap my mind around somebody who would just spew lies and just make up things just because they have a tongue and just because they just were pure jealous. And when I genuinely was trying to embrace, embrace that individual... Yeah, so the whole, because I did see some of his life, of course, you know. So uh, the whole me talking about some of St. Louis artists and speaking bad, that is just a lie. That is a complete, I don't even gossip. Like, like I don't even talk bad about anybody, especially to him. Like, why would I do anything reckless or say any? I always, the way I see that he talked about everybody and everything, I will always be like, mm-mm. I would never tell you insecurity, never tell you a secret, never tell you none of my business, never tell you anything. So since he didn't have anything to work with, he just making up stuff. Just flat out, just flat out blatantly making up stuff. You reach out to the shade room trying to promote that you're a committee man. They don't care about none of that. And then when they get the tea about what happened to the home team affiliated with that individual, that is what made them start digging what's going on. They reached out to all of us. I initially didn't want to do it. But then I was like, you know what? I don't want to have this individual just have the platform to create the narrative um, of what happens to the home team without defending myself, flat out. And so me and Shorty, of course, was like, okay, fuck it, we'll do it. They reach out to him to let him know that, you know, we want to get you on here as well. Child, they told him, now, when you do your part, you're going to have to have seats and validity to what you're saying or we're not going to be able to air, you know, you're saying he was very upset about that. So all these receipts he be claiming he have and all these attorneys he claiming he have got all this stuff started. Why are you running? You like running your live. Why you ain't do the interview with Sean? You ran to them to do an interview, but they didn't want to do what you wanted them to do. So, you know, now, you you know, why, we was okay with doing it since we the one that's under you know, the, the fire, why didn't you do it? But as soon as it posts, now you want to come on your live just making up lies. Again, like, initially, I'm going to be honest, and Jamie will tell you, the first two days I cried about this because I really just could not believe that would make an individual who imagination is so fantastic in their mind that they would just, whatever that devil tells him to do, that he just ran with it. Um... Of course, I filed the restraining order because for you to lie on me, I know what you're about to come in here and do next. Because in my mind, I know that's ready. Because when it came back that everything he said was a lie, I'm like, he might come out back out in this bitch and shoot it up or something. I didn't know what the hell to expect. And this sick jealousy and hate that he had in his heart for me, and I'm thinking that we are genuinely building a bond and having a friendship. You really sitting somewhere resenting me, um, jealous of me. You told me all of Becky business, all of the VP business, honey. And if I get to talking, if I really was like you and really got to telling the truth, it would be a mess. But I'm not going that route. I'm going I'm to do everything through, through the court. Everything concerning you with the court. It is gag orders. It is defamation of character filed. It is restraining orders. He is run from, from everybody. Okay? So I wouldn't do all of this if it wasn't true. I'm protecting my name. I'm going to do it with my life. And I'm not playing. Everybody else can play with him and think it's a joke and think it's funny. He's just kiki kiki. How you playing with people's livelihood and it's dangerous. You playing with people's reputation and it's dangerous. You're playing with people's relationships and dangerous. All because you are a gimmick. You are a gimmick. Me and Shorty have careers and we are talented. 
but you are always going to be the entertainment. You are always going to be the person that's being laughed at, and that bothers you at night. That's what bothers you. You didn't hire me, bitch. Why the fuck do I have to call you and blow you up for me to get hired? Me? I didn't have to say anything. Every even the big VPs was like, you know, this individual was really advocating for you to be on the show. Yes, you. They was never considering everybody else that you over there trying to name and trying to get them on your side. None of that. Nobody has ever talked bad about the LGBTQ community. Only you. You're the one to say that you're not even, you don't even want to be affiliated with them. You said this. This is on my nieces. Everything I'm saying is on my blood, on my life, on my heart. You was doing all that. Anybody in their right mind would ever do anything negative or say anything negative about anybody or do anything crazy around him. That's just common sense. Now, we have fun. We kiki all of that. I got a way of making you think that we real close. And I'm still just getting to know you. I know all your business, but you don't know mine. I'm a very smart girl. Bitch. So, I mean, if everything you saying is so true, why you keep riding around your court? It's somewhere where I can holler at you, you know? Where somebody can just, you know, let's just talk about it in court. It's not a big deal. What you running from? I genuinely liked you. I genuinely was blo blocking out the noise trying to befriend you. I genuinely was doing that. You got the previous PD fired. You got the new PD fired. You was trying to get British fired. The stuff you did and said about Cordell Stewart, the stuff you did about Adrian Bronner, you are a horrible person. Everything you're trying to say about me on your live, you're projecting. The blood of Jesus, you're projecting. You want that to be me. That ain't been my reputation, baby. That ain't my reputation. That's yours. So everybody does. I mean, I believe in because y'all like to believe lies. That's just what y'all, it's just more entertaining. You ain't never heard about me being messy. No, I don't like Nikki. I say that right now. I don't. And Nikki don't like me. The fuck is some girl rap shit? That's it. Other than that, I don't get, I don't talk bad about nobody. For what? And you keep talking about, I say with my mama, yeah, I do. My mother lives in St. Louis. I only been back almost four months. I was, my shit is still stored in Atlanta. I had just sold my house before I came back here. Put all my stuff in storage. Y'all told me, don't, you know, I ain't got to move. I like, I didn't have to in the apartment yet or nothing. Are you mad because I'm okay? Because my mother embraced me and loved me and I got somewhere to... Yes, I'm at my mama's house. Big, beautiful home. Big, beautiful home. You've seen it. So you running for a comedian and you talking about you for the people, but still some kind of way you over there bashing me and you know, that's what I know. I know you. You are so mad you took this so far. You are so mad. I know you cry at night. I know you upset. I know all that because at the end of the day, I still have my community. Me, the, the PD is still good friends. Me and Shorty are still good friends. We all talk every day. You're on that island by yourself. You a house nigga. And you thought that that woman was going to have your back and you going to keep your job. You thought the whole thing was you was going to get us fired. And your delusional ass thought you still was going to be there. Now we all gone. See, just see how the devil will trick you? Have you slit your own throat? Dummy. Prove it. If I've ever talked about somebody negative, prove it. You're lying over there talking about that shorty is talking about Nitty. Never. He never, ever, ever did that. He never laughed about no slur. He never, ever on my soul, on my heart, ever did it. Even if y'all know me, it's like I would give somebody who's never been known to be in no drama and known to be a liar the benefit of the doubt that mm, she might be telling, you know, she might be telling truth over a person that everything they talk about is a lie. You're not delivered. And if I get to tell all these straight men how you are saying you sleeping with them, I would have to. I, but again, I don't move like that. You are lying on these straight men talking about who you were sleeping with. And you think I'm going to tell you something? I'm going to confide in you? I'm going to just be messy saying some stuff around you? Are you okay? You over there knowing you lying. You can't even control yourself. You over there finna cry. Your ears finna fall out the face and that plat in your shit, bitch. <laughs> Child. Why, when the shade room asked you to do an interview, you didn't do it? Why? They came after us because you was all in ADM trying to get them to respect your committee man stuff. And once they get to doing their homework, they like, mm, it's more interesting to see what it happened to the home team. And when they start digging, it was like, nope, we don't want to do it. Fuck it. Nope, not doing it. This, this, this. But then it was like, wait a minute. We know he like attention. Hold on. Let's go. We might as well get on here and defend our fucking stuff. And then you don't even fucking. 
You don't even do it. You wait until it posts and then go on your live because on your live, you ain't got to have receipts. You know, can't nobody necessarily do nothing to you on your live. They told you, come to the shade room. No, Jamie. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 They told you, bring the validity, bring the receipts, and you can have the interview. And where are they? You keep talking about me and Shorty was getting down at the damn studio. Where's your videos and pictures? You, you talking about the one we, when we hugged? That. That's all you got, baby. Was you mad? Was you mad he was hugging me and not you? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? And trying to make it like he ain't for the community. Who If, if she ain't for the community, who is? You sure don't do shit. Even with me living in Atlanta, I still, every Thanksgiving, feet on this here. I still give back school supplies, school pairs of shoes for the kids who are unfortunate to have, have the things that they need. Every, I do that. I don't have the cameras follow me to get clout and to claim on that. That is what I do for my heart. What the fuck is you doing for the city of St. Louis? You ain't doing shit. So, I love y'all. I hate that it got here. You know, I didn't come back here for this. I did not. Um, that person is very unhinged. That person is very unloved. That person is very broken, very hurt. We were all super close into that argument about the, uh, photo shoot. And then when you seen that we was going to go ahead and cause when I first got there, I'm the new girl. So I'm always trying to make things right and be neutral. Like, okay, I'm just excited to be here. So I'm like, all right, it's okay. You kept rescheduling the photo shoot that I bought all of our outfits. I um, kept rescheduling and I was putting everything that I had as a priority to the side. You kept just making it an issue of why you wasn't going to do it. And I'm trying to play nice at the beginning. But then when I started getting a little comfortable, that last time when you tried me, I was like, well, babe, go on and go out of town then. And give me my motherfucking money about the clothes, okay? And I don't care about where the fuck you go. You were mad that I bucked back. Anybody that knows me, I would throw shade every now and then. But for the most part, I was just taking shit because I'm like, this is a different platform. I'm trying to be professional. You know, I'm trying to give him benefit of the doubt that it's still with love that you're throwing shade or trying me. But once I got comfortable in that situation, I'm like, you're going to give me my motherfucking money. And we ain't got to do the photo shoot. Fuck the photo shoot. So when you came back after the weekend and we still did the show, like whatever, like you was a doorknob. Me and Shorty did the show like you wasn't even there. You was so mad about that, that you weren't getting attention. And we was like, we weren't coddling you and like, are you okay? And we ain't do none of that. We did the show, act like you wasn't there. Shorty checked you about your professionalism. And that is when the next day I'm talking to HR. Just made up something ridiculous. And let's be very clear. Yes, me and Shorty have chemistry. Me and Shorty are very close. That is my friend. That nigga ain't never fucked me in the studio, out the studio, nowhere. Nowhere. And what's even more sick is Andrew know I am on a whole celibate thing right now. It'll be a year in June. He knows that. That's a whole different story. But he knows that. So to do this is taking me out of my element Everybody who knows me know I love God. I am a little rough around the edges. I say that all the time. I'm ratchet as hell. I'm dropping my video tonight and I am popping shit. So I'm a work in progress. But a liar, I'm not. Jealous, I'm not. Hating on people, I don't do. That's not even... You know? Let's get to these comments real quick. No, I know he was upset. That baby was over there finna cry. And you already told me that you battle with mental illness. You told me that. You said you suffer from that. And I was falling for I don't know. Stupid. Trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Trying to bond with you. We just was making red beans and rice. And then I'm sitting in HR. 
Then you lie and talk about we called you name. Just lie. When I say everything, if his mouth is moving, he is lying. Everything you're saying. Then you talking about, I'm talking about people in St. Louis that I love, man, that I respect. I never ever, like... I ain't never been in no shit like this, y'all. I had heard about one or two things of his lies, but I just still would just, oh, he's funny. Whatever. I just know not to tell him shit. I just know how to tell him none of my business. But, you know. <laughs> Jamie, shut up. Hi, Nana Natasha. Rose, how are you? Baby. Hi, Chanel. Yes, it's dropping as soon as I get off this live. I was about to upload that, but then I went see what this bitch, this old big back bitch over there talking about. What you blocked me for? We could go live together, bitch. What you locked me for? What you locked me for? What you running from the detectives for? For what? Because I got to play your game. I can't do shit to you. So I got to play your game. I got to play your game. And I got money for attorney and lawyers and court. However long this takes, bitch. However long this takes. Talking about you waiting on your, um, you gonna send a statement from your attorney. Chill. I know the real tea as to why old girl was scared of you, and instead of just getting rid of you, yeah. <laughs> um, I do live with my mama. That's just it, because I can. My mama got a big, beautiful house. In the country. So I could I could do that. Big white picket fence. I could do that. I could do that. That ain't that ain't like talking down on me. I can do that if I want to get my own place. I can't. I just sold my damn house in Atlanta before I moved here. So and that's why all my stuff is still there. Because for whatever reason, I just never felt like I don't know. I ain't feel like it was straight permanent. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I just never brought all my stuff from Atlanta. So you keep talking about stay with my mama. Yes, I do. What else you got? You so don't have nothing to say about me that you just making up lies, baby. You just making up lies. Okay, so where are we going to get a drink? Because I'm with it. What's up, yeah? Hi, Freaky Marco. I know that, Miss Danny. I know that. I know that. Sitting up here being sympathetic because I heard about your whole story. And I'm still not, and what's crazy is I'm still not even going to blast you about that. Because I know that's, that was something personal to you. But for you to go and do what you're doing, I know you know you took it too far. I know you know that in your heart. I know you do. I know you do. I, that's why you was about to cry on that live. Because you're getting, St. Louis turned you up so hard. They turn your ass up, ain't they? Your conscience turn your ass up, ain't it? Them demons ain't let you sleep at night, huh? You always on the move. That's why you always in the court. Going where? Where are you going? <laughs> Where the fuck do he be going? <laughs> I ain't got to lay a hand on oh, you, child. You look in that mirror and it is. I would just look over at him sometimes. and He'll just be staring at me like your skin is so pretty. And at first like, it was flattering, but then it turned into. Why are you just over there staring at me? If shorty hugged me, get off of her. Get off of her. You mad because we got chemistry? Yes. We did, and we start playing on that shit on her. We did. He'll be on her. I'll be like, I miss you. What you do this weekend? He's like, I miss you too, Fox. 
you know, and then he's like, I miss you too, shorty. Trying to just always like, yes, we are friends. Ain't nothing wrong with us being friends. Ain't nothing wrong with us flirting with each other. Ain't nothing wrong with our banter being that we was flirting. And me and the other one banter was we throw shade at each other. That's what it was. You took that and tried to turn it into some perverted shit, you loser. You are a fucking loser. You a bum. You ain't got no car in your name. You drive rentals. Okay. I don't know who house that was. I was even, anybody that's listening or even came up to me like, how is it working with him? I would defend you. Even when people would try to talk bad about you, I would defend you. Name one, anybody that ever say I talk bad about him, come on my live and in my comments right now. If I ever did that to you, I will always be like, he's all right. You know, he might be a lot sometimes, but he, he okay. We good. That's fam. Let's bait. I will always defend you. You trying to play with my character. I'm coming for your throat. Let's be clear on that. And I mean that in court. I mean that metaphorically that I do have the funds to defend myself. And I will. I agreed to do the show, even though I heard about everything dealing with him. I didn't know everything until I until the ink dried. Line said I called you every day. The, that that does something to me. I'm fucking Tiffany Fox, bitch. I don't have to call and beg. What are you even talking? You didn't hire me. If people could just get hired by calling and begging, everybody will have a job. That's not how this works. I didn't even meet the people that hired me until I got hired. So who the fuck was I calling every day? Who? I didn't meet nobody that hired me until I got hired. I didn't call nobody until I got hired. I did the application. I did the resume. I did all of that. I did the live. I, I, I never gave them no back talk about it. I never made it an issue that, no, I'm not finna. I'm too good for that. I never did that. Never. On purpose. So you just, you just pulling shit out your ass at this point just to try to make people look at me crazy. You so mad that I'm highly respected, that I am talented, that people really fuck with me. You know that at the end of the day, people are only going to fuck with you because you are a gimmick, because you are a clown, because you are funny to them. They're laughing at you, not with you, baby. They're not. And if I had any type of snake stuff in my heart the way you do, all them straight men that you said you were sleeping with, y'all know who y'all was. On them lives, when he when he would FaceTime y'all, every dude that was on his FaceTime, I will say that, every dude that he was on FaceTime and he would purposely call y'all while we was at the studio, he said he slept with you. Let's be clear on that. These people got families, all kind of, so I'm not going to say y'all name, but y'all know who y'all are. This is what he was saying. He talked about the, the mm. <laughs> listen, you see the devil just be. Child. Child. Certain politicians. But see, the, the, the difference is I give people the benefit of the doubt. So I just I'm I just knew in my mind he lying. You know? So why am I gonna think you sitting up here telling the truth about these people and I know you lying and I'ma tell you any of my tea? This, he's so mad, he don't know who I was dating or any of my insecurities or any of my um, my private business. Or he's never been to my home. You've seen it on FaceTime. He's like, oh, this is a big, beautiful house. Yeah. At my mother's, yeah. You never. You noticed that, right? You never came to my house. I never, I always came to you. I know where you live. 
Mm-hmm. You told me all your business. So since I since I didn't tell you anything or ever talk bad about anybody, you just making it up. You just projecting. I know God got something big for me because of this. It because it don't make no sense. This shit's so random and crazy. It's the most single white female shit. You just flat out wanted to be me and you admired me at the same time. And you were jealous of me and Shorty's relationship, of our friendship. You were so jealous of that. We were so full of joy and love with each other and you could not take it. I even loved you. You know what I mean? It was like we had our own friendship and me and Shorty had our own friendship. And I hung out with you sometimes by, you know, by ourselves and vice versa. And it's just like, I don't know. And I, I, I did start talking to Shorty about it and was like, I don't think he liked it. Mm-hmm. You wanted to be mother and you wasn't. But anyway, I'm going to get to these comments. I'm going to get off here. Um, they did do an investigation. What you mean? They did do an investigation concerning the allegations he put out and it came back nothing. There's there's cameras, audio, all of that. So I just assume all the time, you know, we just we just so full of our flesh. We just got to bust it open at, at the station. Did that even anyway um that's true i am miss bb how are you uh i didn't have tim wood um What's Baba? What's that? What is Baba, y'all? What's Baba? I don't know. What do y'all mean? No, I am done with y'all. I miss y'all too. That part. K K Shanai? I don't know. Um Oh, Baba. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know that person. Oh, what? What? T? So that's who plays initially it is? Formerly dirt bike. Yeah. Hi, Blitz. Kim is my baby. Hi, Aaliyah. What's tea? That part pleasure. That's not his man. He don't, Beijing. He don't own that condo. That much I do know. I don't know who name it's in, but he don't own it. He don't even own a car because there's so many allegations against him against him when cordell sued him he won he ain't never getting that money like i know i ain't never get it's just for the inconvenience i want your kids 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 money by the time i'm done with you bitch that's what it's for i mean i know i ain't finna get nothing they ain't got no damn money thank you so much thank you i'm about to release my video y'all 
I was going to do it before this live, but... And at this point, I am just done with it. I think. I think. Uh, I think. <laughs> I think. Yes, I seen that live of him calling um, the white women bitches. I did. I seen it. And y'all seen the video of him saying that he make up lies. And he would still make the news. He knows what he's doing. And for anybody, anybody that believe him or deal with him or even giving him a perspective or just trying to, because I, I still believe in, okay, we, we can agree to disagree. You have a perspective. I have a perspective. This is not that situation. He is just flat out lying. So anybody that fuck with him, don't fuck with me. When you see me out, don't speak. Don't be on his live like, oh, I believe you. And you and then when you see me, you chummy and want to come over here. Like, because I see everything. Let's be clear on that. I see all the comments. I see all of the engagement. I see everybody that's popping shit. I see it all. Do not be trying to be over there and then straddling the fence thinking you coming over here trying to be on my dick. Don't let's not do that. Cause this dude is unhinged, weird as fuck, and really turned our lives upside down for a second like i just thank god i never all the way you know what i mean so yeah mm -hmm. i seen that amber i seen it yes formally i agree i agree clint he ain't got no talent yeah, I don't do that shit. I don't do that. When it comes to stuff like this, when you playing with people's name, their character, their reputation, stuff like that, it's just, that's just low. I don't even do that. Like, even with people I don't like, I don't, I don't, I just don't speak, speak on them. And if I have a comment about something that's going to be hurtful, I keep it to myself. I'm not just, I'm not no messy girl. I don't be talking about everybody. I don't do that. That ain't, I don't get nothing out of that. I don't stay blessed doing stuff like that. So to go over there and lie and say, I was talking about people and you just, I mean, <laughs> that baby was over there from the cry, from the blow fucking plant out his head because it's too much. Again, you had the floor. You reached out to the shade room. To get all this shit kicked up, you gonna... that was your, that was you wanted some attention, right? So then we end up getting suckered into doing the shit only for you not to because they told you you needed to have validity and credits and receipts and you couldn't provide. Cause we standing ten toes about everything we talking about. Yes. I seen that. Yes. And I addressed that with the individual. When I said that, again, in our community, certain things we can and can't say. Some people offended, some are not. Um, and we're good. We're super good. And try to... That happened in January and then it resurfaced in March. The same day the HR thing happened, you was just trying to hang me. And lied and said that the company got involved they did not they didn't because it didn't happen on their platform when i said the derogatory term it didn't happen on their platform it happened on that boy's lie so that immediately x the company out because that wasn't their platform but i still addressed it because i knew i hurt somebody so i was like that wasn't why i said that. i was just saying it because i know she don't want your ass you still made that resurface conveniently when you was trying to get me fired. And let's be clear. I hear the bankruptcy thing. Yes, they did file that in January. But um, we all were good. The ratings were number two when we were done. We had got that back two weeks before all the shenanigans happened. We had a whole tour that was about to come up. You been there two years and only got three endorsements. I've been there four months and got three endorsements. You ain't have none. The one, the one that I did have, I shared with you. I 
like, that's some shit. They just wanted me. I brought the whole home team. Like, no, I want all of us to. I'm such a fucking team player. And so, so happy to be here. Hey, it's going to be me and my. And you go and backstab me. That's the only endorsement you got since I've been there. I became a fan favorite and you hated it. When they would call that phone, they was asking to speak to me and Shorty. When you see those comments, you you even took down a video that went viral of me and Shorty because you couldn't take it. You took it off the home team page and tried to blame it on corporate. You jealous bitch. You jealous, you jealous, big back bitch. You disgusting human. And saying that I'm evil. It, it's just so crazy. Everything he's saying is him. And it's just like, I didn't play with nobody, job. I didn't lie on nobody. I never talked about nobody. I didn't say I was sleeping with XYZ and lying on these on these people. If they knew you was straight talking about you was sleeping with them, baby, my work would be done, to be honest. <laughs> baby. Oh, so anyway, what else is in here? Ch the, the delusion. It's some single white female shit. That's why I got a restraining order. Hey, LT, how you doing? I'm about to drop it. Chanel, I miss you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm finna drop the video, right? And it's a freestyle called Yeah Fox. Y'all better go in them comments. Y'all better go to YouTube to watch it. And um, yeah, I am popping my shit. I got a whole project coming out. Um... I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to stay in St. Louis. You know, I would like to. But certain opportunities is might be moving me away. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just need to calm down from this shit. Yeah. Did he tell you? I know that, Mia. I know. Thank you, baby. Hi, Terrence, my bestie, One Great Britain. How you doing? What, what, what? Send it to me, just Bia. What do you mean? Yeah, go believe him or not. I don't care. I seen somebody that said they tried to give him benefit. Of that. Baby, if everything he talk about is lies, his whole career is built off a lie. How you gonna believe something that like his whole career is built off a lie and he ran with it? That's one thing about him. He know how to get into. I ain't gonna lie, that dude know how to get into some rooms. Now he gonna fuck it up, but the projection is what's so crazy because I was just saying. Anything he's attached to is a he's a cancer to, and you were over there saying that about me. Every you didn't got the person who hired you, you got him fired. How? Then the new PD, you got him fired. Like, was what was that woman telling you that she was gonna do? And now you ain't even got a job, baby. You see how that go? Like, you running for committee, man. Where did you come up with this big, bright idea? You ain't never did nothing for the city of St. Louis riding or walking. Ever. But you're about to show it now or act like you do now. And you, you always letting black women have it. You only... um. 
bring up the LGBTQ community when it's convenient. Um, you look down on you, <laughs> baby. And it's, it's sad because they say at the circus, you see two clowns arguing. You don't know who started it. You don't know who's the idiot. And I'm, I done just got into some goofy shit. And I get it that to a degree it's like Tiffany. But I didn't know that that it was going to end up like this, man. I miss the home team. I miss what it was about to be. I miss what we were about to do for the city of St. Louis. I had so many big plans. I didn't come here for security. I came here for the opportunity. That is the difference. I didn't come here because I needed a job. The fuck? I done got radio job, like... People interested in me were in Atlanta. But it was something about coming back here and really like getting back into the community and stuff and just really just bringing a facelift to St. Louis. It was going to be a vibe. Not to say that it cannot still happen. It was just I had a whole plan on how I was about to do, and do all of those things. Um... I ain't never seen no shit like this, y'all. Y'all gotta bear with me sometime. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm about to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hmm. I. I don't. I wouldn't say that they were sleeping together. I'm not going to say that. I don't think that. I don't believe that at all. Yeah. And I'm going to leave it at that, though. But if I had some liquor, I might have said too much. But if y'all notice, I don't never say the individual name. Ever. That person's just so stupid. I just be screen record, screen record. Email my attorney. Do, 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 do. Gag order. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know, but I love y'all. I'm about to put the video out. Go on YouTube. I'm about to put the link in my um. Give me like ten minutes. I'm gonna put it in my uh, in the uh, bio. Okay, love y'all.